hello everyone welcome back to your girl magic mermaid we're about to get into scorpio april 2024 tarot scope reading for all my scorpio sun moon and rising signs all right so we're pre-shuffled we're gonna jump right into the reading yeah yeah nine of pentacles okay 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 we have the eight of wands we have the lovers we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Empress. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so let me shuffle once more. And then get the clarifiers. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so big money. Big money. Big money coming into the month of April. Okay, we have the Two of Swords clarifying the Eight of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords clarifying the Lover's card. We have the Seven of Cups clarifying the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Cups clarifying the Empress. And then we have the Hermit card clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Let's get the final. Okay, we have Prosperity. Steady. Okay, we have Imagination. We have Courage. We have Glamour. We have beauty, okay? Okay, so, I mean, Nine of Pentacles clarified by the King of Pentacles. What more is there to be said, honestly? Um, Nine of Pentacles is all about being self-sustainable, independent, um, just having all the things that you need, you know, at your expense. It's just, honestly, abundance that you've built up over a long period of time that you know now you're looking around and you're like wow look at all of the things that i have collected look at all of the abundance that surrounds me and this is what i've cultivated in my life is abundance and so it's about self-realization yes it's about pride and wisdom and finding a way giving and receiving okay so it's talking about a woman stands proudly upon a canal in the middle of the desert she can take her oasis with her wherever she goes because she has cultivated i literally just used that word this resource through creativity, passion, independence, and tenacity. So this is about your abundance that you have built for yourself. Clarified by the King of Pentacles is just reiterating the amount of wealth and abundance that you have. And, you know, you just realize, like, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> like, wow. Mm -hmm. Tens. I give myself my tens. You know, it's that kind of thing. Okay, so then... You have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Two. The Eight of Wands clarified by the Two of Swords. So this is talking about something that, you know, was making you feel stuck. It was making you feel stagnant. Um, you were feeling like you were just, you know, not that you couldn't move, but you just couldn't make a decision. You couldn't make up your mind. You were just feeling like, I don't want to make a decision until I feel like I have to make a decision. And so now you're getting the answers that you want. And so you're just like, okay, so that's the all the confirmation that I needed. That's all the realization that I needed. And, you know, everything else is a go. Like, I know what I'm doing. I know what path I'm on. And I know what I need to do next. And I'm going to do those things. And so this is you just having that clarity of mind and receiving that. And, you know, you're talking with people and you're communicating with people people at work and then you know and then your family and then you're getting this vibe and it's confirming everything that is telling you which direction to go and you are appreciating that sense of clarity that you are having in the month of april so you have the lover's card and so 
This is about, you know, coming to a crossroads or needing to choose between two things. And then the Queen of Swords is about having boundaries and having a logical mind. So this is about you asserting some boundaries. Um, this could be with a Gemini person, okay? Um, but this could also be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. But you are asserting some boundaries. You're putting your foot down, Scorpio, and you're saying, you know what? This is what needs to happen, but this is also... Um, you just having a clear mind about a person that you needed to make a decision about. You just really having the clear mind to lay down the correct boundaries so that, you know, it can be healthy is what I'm hearing. Okay. So we have the seven of wands clarified by the seven of cups. And so this is about the seven of wands is about defending your position and so but i look at this card and it seems to be like there's a download that comes from up above this is like when you're defending something and you just have the innate feeling like this is something i should defend this is something i should protect like i don't necessarily feel that i should just you know um and then it's talking about the seven of cups because it's you know you feel a little bit of confusion i feel like because you know, you're going over your options because you do have options, Scorpio. That's the thing about it. But there is some one thing that you feel like you need to stick beside it or you need to stick behind it. And, and you need to make sure that you follow through with it of whatever the end deal about it is. OK, and so then you have the Empress with the King of Cups. OK, for some of you. You are finding out that your significant other is pregnant this month or you are pregnant this month. But also, this is you. This is King of Cups energy. This is you, Scorpio. Let me take a look at the card. You know, this is like, it looks dark. It looks scary, but really is actually very vibrant and contains a lot of light in the middle and it's just it just looks intimidating but once you get inside of it it's all everything that you could ever want and so this is you just feeling very abundant or you could be pregnant just feeling very abundant this month and at the end of april like you're like yes i have money i have and it's not even just about money it's about internal abundance that you feel it's like i feel good about me i feel good about myself like i'm not worried about anyone else i'm not mad at anyone else like whatever anyone else is what to do they can do that because you know what about me is like i know who i am and i know what people see and i know the experience that i bring and i know the value that i bring and so i walk around like this and this is how i carry myself and so this is what i attract this is what comes to me okay so then we have the four of pentacles clarified by the hermit card and so this is about you know wanting to be alone this is about introspection this is about you know kind of going on a path alone to really just kind of study yourself a little bit deeper and go deeper into your self-mastery or go deeper into your personal spirituality um but this is also about stability because the hermit is about being able to be alone and on your own so the four of pentacles is about stability it's about having everything you need to be on your own and you know that is the realization that you're coming to um at the end of the month it's like you could put me anywhere in the universe and i'd be straight like i'll be cool i'll be all right like everything that i need will always find me you know everything that i need and everything that i desire will always find me it might not find me through my means of having but it will find me ultimately and that's the knowing that you are leaving out of the month with is just like a new understanding of your power it's like i know who i am i know my power like i'm not tripping about nothing you know it's that type of energy okay and so um this is courage so yes you could be going out on your own and you know you're making the necessary changes to get into the place and the space that you want to be in and that's exactly you know 
you 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 charge it up this month okay so we have prosperity like i said all the prosperity that's coming in and then glamour i feel like you're putting that extra you know umph into your little routine and stuff like you know you're doing a little bit extra with the hair you, you know putting on your nice jewelry your nice you know stuff and you know people are seeing you people are attracted to you they're like hey scorpio can i holla can i holla can i holla 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 holla, holla. okay imagination so you're imagining all the things that are possible now and then study so like i said you're reflecting on all the lessons 